today we're going to be updating software on the uh, Audi A8 2011. So I've got new software for uh, passenger and a driver front seats. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, update the software and how to do the basic settings for the adaptation uh, both seats. All right, we're gonna use WAG Cam Pro to flash the uh, module. So we're gonna we're gonna do a driver side. So I'm gonna use a 36 um, to open the module for the driver seat. Then we're gonna use a flasher, and now we're gonna look for a uh, file. Uh, which one we're gonna flash to the module? I'm gonna show all the files and we're gonna pick the files that we're gonna flash. Now we're gonna hit the flash and process begins. So now it's gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes to flash the module. So I'm just gonna fast forward. Also to this video that I'm showing you guys is for uh, to flash the module on the driver's side uh, but the basic settings and, and an adaptation we will be doing on the passenger side seat. After flashing is done, we're gonna use a VCDS to do the basic settings and adaptation. I'm gonna find passenger uh, module, which is number six, seat memory passenger. And I'm just gonna show you how I did it, but before you code uh, the module, so you're gonna have to go to coding and save this, save this code in order to code and then when you're done everything will be showing zero in here and then you code the, you guys code old, old um, code uh, and put it in here in the new code and, and do it so but it's still the seat is still not working after we even did the coding showing three folds and all those codes or folds was basic setting and adaptation so we're gonna have to do the adaptation basic settings and adaptation and I'm gonna show you how to do that so this is a comfort seat was a massage and we're gonna have to do all the we're gonna have to run all the motors uh, to the limits in order to do the basic settings and adaptation and also too after we update the module those buttons will not work until we do the adaptation so to do the adaptation and basic settings so we're gonna go to measure blocks and we're gonna set this channel 1 this channel 2 and channel 3 and now to do the adaptation we're gonna go first forward with this level so 
So after it stopped, we're gonna release the finger and we're gonna press it again and we're gonna hear the click. So this limit is set. Now we're gonna go backwards. Again, we're gonna release the finger and we're gonna press it again. This limit is set also. Now we're gonna go up. Again, release and press it again. This limit is set. Now we're gonna go on this side. Again, release, press it again. Now we're gonna go down. Again, release and press it again. Set. Now we're gonna do the back rest. So we're gonna go forward. Okay, again, release and press it again. This limit set. Now we're gonna go backwards. Again, press it again. Okay, this limit set. Now we're gonna bring the seat back. Just to the normal position. And then we're gonna check our codes. All right. So now we're going to check our codes again. Okay, we're going to clear the codes. And we're going to look for codes again. Okay, now we have two faulty codes. So we resetted one code, but we still have the two faulty codes. And our memory buttons are not working yet. So what is it asking us to do the calibration for the motor for seat depth adjustments? And si since it's a fancy seat, so we have a motor that tilt this side over here, this top side over here. So we're gonna have to do the calibration here too. So we're gonna use this joystick to do all those calibration settings. So we're gonna go to move this motor and then we're gonna click it again and then we're gonna go back to retract this and then we're gonna go again now we're gonna go to this backrest so we're gonna go forward safe position and we're gonna go backward and click it again so I use this joystick as it was showing on the picture what to do how to move and also as you move when it stops you're gonna release your finger and you're gonna press it again to memorize that position so every time you get to the end with those levelers or with this joystick when it stops, you release your finger and you press it again to memorize the position. Now we're gonna check for codes again. So we're gonna clear the codes. And then we're gonna scan it again. And now it's showing that there is no codes. So this module is clean. So that means all, all our uh, basic uh, adaptation settings is done. So I'm gonna log in again in this module which is passenger seat module and I'm gonna scan again for faulty codes and there is no faulty codes so that means that we did the job and 
the seat is fully calibrated and when it calibrated our memory button should work now so set button lit up so that means we can program now 